Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. I hope everyone's had a good start to the week. Um, today went by so fast for us at work, so it was really nice. It's really excited to get home. Um, it's really like gloomy and windy outside, so I came home and made some tea. I made my favorite Persian tea that my mom gets for me. It's the Sedef with cardamom. It's green, it's so good. Um, so that's definitely hitting the spot. It's weird now that it's spring and it's getting all like cold and rainy. Which I like but also I'm kind of ready for the sun. Um, so today I want to talk a little bit about quinoa. I get asked about quinoa all the time from my clients and from people in my fitness groups that I run. Um, quinoa is hyped up so much nowadays but a lot of people eat it without really knowing why. They just hear it's healthy and then they just go get it and I really think that we um, to fully understand nutrition, like it's good to know a little more about what you're eating than just blindly following um, a hype. So um, quinoa is actually a hype that I back up. I love quinoa. Um, I've done my own research on it. So um, just a few, like a little quinoa 101 for you guys if you want to start incorporating this into your um, meal plan. So quinoa is botanically a seed, actually, but it is prepared as a grain, so it's considered an ancient grain um, because, you know, we boil it, you soak it, you treat it like a grain meal-wise, but botanically it's actually a seed. Um, and the reason why quinoa is so popular nowadays is because quinoa is a complete protein. What that means is that it contains all 20 of the amino acids that we need, including essential amino acids, which our bodies don't make on their own. So our bodies make some, and then they need nine essential amino acids from the foods we eat. And quinoa contains everything, all the amino acids that we need, which means it's a complete protein food, um, which is great for vegetarians, vegans, people that don't want to turn to soy for protein, but that don't also eat animal protein. Um, quinoa is a great um, protein source because it does contain all of the essential amino acids that we need. Um, it also kind of tastes like whatever you season it with. So I've made quinoa with garlic. I've made quinoa with marinara sauce and vegetables instead of pasta. I've made um, quinoa salad. So just throwing it on the salad with some dressing. Um, I made curry quinoa, which was delicious, but our apartment smelled for like a week so that part wasn't fun but oh my gosh the curry quinoa was so good um I've made cur I've made quinoa like muffins like broccoli cheese quinoa muffins which were really good um you can make breakfast you know kind of like oatmeal you can just put some uh, cinnamon and uh, walnuts on some quinoa and that can be like a breakfast bowl quinoa is super versatile so quinoa is actually a really good source of protein for people. It's a good food to eat. I recommend it. I think quinoa is great. Um, it contains a lot of vitamins, minerals outside of just protein. It contains a lot of fiber. The red quinoa contains a little bit more than the white quinoa. I like the red one just because it's pretty, but either way, it's quinoa. It's good for you. The only thing I would be cautious about when turning to quinoa is that it is still technically a carbohydrate. Um, so quinoa, um, if you follow, if you do the 21 day fix with me, quinoa goes into the yellow container, which is our carbohydrate container. Um, even though it's a complete protein source, that means our body gets all of the amino acids that we need from quinoa, macronutrient wise, it is a carbohydrate. What macronutrient means is that it, the comparison of carbohydrate, protein, and fat in a food. So like chicken, for example, is 100% protein. So its macros would be considered protein, macronutrient. Um, oil is fat, so that's its macronutrient is a fat. Quinoa, even though it's a complete protein, macronutrient-wise, it's very heavy on the carbohydrate side. I am pro-carbohydrate. I think everyone needs carbohydrates, but we all need different amounts of carbohydrates based on our activity level, based on our metabolism, based on what our bodies can handle. Um, nutrition is very specialized and specific, and what works for me might not work for you, might not work for your neighbor, etc. Um, so the only thing I'd be aware of is to make sure that you're eating quinoa in the correct portions. Just because it's your protein, don't have, you know, three cups of quinoa a day. That's that's still going to be a lot of carbohydrate. Whether or not your carbs, you know, they're good sources of carbs and bad, like I don't like using the word bad, but there's better sources of carbs and not as best sources of carbs. Um, but a carb is always going to turn into sugar in your body. Whether you're getting your carbs from brown rice, sweet potato, Doritos chips, popcorn, any of that, a carb is a carb is a carb. Um, of course, food is not just a carb. 
Quinoa contains so many minerals, vitamins, vitamin B, for example, it contains protein, it contains fiber. So don't just cross it off. Oh, it's a carb. I can't eat it. Food is not just one thing. Food, there's so many different intricacies to the way food um, interacts with our body, which is why um, it's so cool to learn about this stuff. And it's so cool to know how our bodies work. So quinoa is a great source of protein. I would just be aware of portion sizes as with any food group. You know, um, if you eat 20 cups of spinach, your stomach's probably not going to like you either. So portion sizes are important, which is why I personally love the container system because it keeps things in check. It helps you eat kind of whatever you want as long as it fits into the color-coded container. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, comment below this uh, video with your email or email me to bean.verano at gmail.com and I'll tell you more about the container system that I recommend to most of my clients um, to track their nutrition and follow meal plans. So... That's basically a little short version, oh, it's so windy outside, um, a little short version about quinoa and why it's good for us and why I, I love it and I recommend it for my clients. So if you have any more questions about quinoa, food, anything else you'd like to see in these videos, please email me or comment below with a question and I would love um, to answer it. Again, my email is taveen.verano at gmail.com. Okay, bye guys.